winter and cold weather is a fact of life to many people in the northern part of the world. Freezing weather can mean frostbite and hypothermia unless a person is prepared. Here are some ways to stay warm, dry, and safe in cold weather. Frostbite is damage that happens when skin is exposed to extreme cold for too long. It mainly happens on the hands, feet, nose, and ears. People with minor cases of frostbite that affect only the skin may not suffer any permanent damage. But if deeper tissue is affected, a person is likely to feel pain every time the area gets cold. Damage to blood vessels is more dangerous. This kind of injury can lead to a gangrene infection. Sometimes the only way doctors can treat an injury like this is to remove frostbitten areas like fingers and toes. Hypothermia is a condition in which the body cannot produce as much heat as it loses. Signs of hypothermia include uncontrollable shaking, very slow breathing, and difficulty thinking clearly. If untreated, hypothermia can lead to death. To avoid cold-related injuries, here is a simple way to remember four basic steps to staying warm. Think of cold, C-O-L-D. The C stands for cover. Wear a hat and scarf to keep heat from escaping through the head, neck, and ears. And wear mittens, which are warmer than gloves. The O stands for overexertion. Avoid activities that will make you sweaty. Wet clothes and cold weather are a dangerous combination. L is for layers. Wearing loose, lightweight clothes, one layer on top of another, is better than wearing a single, heavy layer of clothing. And D is for dry. In other words, stay as dry as possible. Hypothermia is a real concern if you are outside in cold weather for a long time. It is a condition that develops when the body is losing more heat than it is able to produce. Hypothermia can be mild, moderate, or severe. Mild hypothermia is something that most people who live in cold climates have experienced. You feel so cold that your body starts to shake a little, but you cannot control the shaking. The treatment for mild hypothermia starts with getting out of the cold, drinking warm, non-alcoholic liquids, and eating something sugary can stop the shivering. Taking a warm bath or sitting by a fire can also warm the body. In severe cases, the body temperature drops below 35 degrees Celsius. People may lose the ability to think clearly. Their muscles become stiff. In such cases, rangers for the National Park Service advise to prevent additional heat loss first. They place extra covering around the chest, head, and neck of victims to keep them warm. It is important to work fast to get people out of the cold. It is equally important to move them slowly and gently. Sudden movement can force cold blood from the arms, legs, and hands deep into the warmer middle of the body. The sudden flow of cold blood can cause shock. 
The process of rewarming a person needs to be done slowly in a hospital if possible. An extremely low body temperature can cause the heart to beat so slowly that a pulse may be difficult to find. In other words, a person who is suffering from the effects of severe cold may seem dead, but they may still be alive. For VOA Learning English, I'm Carolyn Prasuti.